Severe Yo, let's make a hard hitting UK drill beat. Let's go. For the first melody, we actually jumped into Pandora and I went over and grabbed this flute pure preset. For the effects, I've got an EQ taking out some lows and highs, raising a few high mids. And I've got this vintage Valhalla reverb, the mix turned out around 27%. For this beat, we're working in 148 BPM and we're over in D minor. This is the pattern that we came up with. For the second melody, we actually went into expand and I went over and grabbed this wavetable bells preset. For the effects, I've got this gross beat, which plays a half beat gate. I've got an EQ once again, taking out some lows and highs. And I've got another vintage Valhalla reverb. This time the mix turned down to around 33%. This one gives it a real digital feel and it adds to the bounce with the gross beat gate. So this is the pattern that we came up with. And for the final melody, we actually went into Nexus and I went over and grabbed this Nexus Grand Piano preset. For the effects, I've got a half time. I've got this EQ taking out some lows and highs, dipping a few low mids and raising some of the mids and high mids. And I just went with a Fruity Reverb 2 on this one. Real basic pattern, but this is what we came up with. Now this is all three patterns that we came up with played together. Oh, that is sounding clean. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to start adding in some drums. So first off, I'm going to go grab a counter snare. You know the vibe, we're going straight into the Viper MIDI kit as well. I think I'm just going to go speed this one up a little bit. sounds nice what we're gonna do now i'm just gonna start layering in some percussion so i'm gonna grab a few snares maybe a few perks as well i'm just gonna get the bounce going so let's see what we can come up with So we've got a nice little pattern on the go. I've got a few different main snares and we've got quite a few different perks and snares filling up certain pockets as well. What this does is just fills up some of the empty spaces in the beat and basically it just adds to the bounce even more. So this is the pattern that we have so far. Oh, that is sounding nasty. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to waste no time once again. We're going to get straight into the 808. Yeah, baby. Hey. <laughs> 
Hey, that is sounding tasty. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to add in a kick and we're going to make the 808 Ooh. punch a little bit harder. <laughs> sounding nasty what we're gonna do now i'm just gonna right click the pattern split by channel and we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna rearrange this into a full beat so we've got a nice little bit of structure on the go i've added a few different effects out of my kit and um, what this does is just lets the listener know that there's something new about to come in at the end of the bar we've also got these beat cutouts here and there as well this just adds to the tension of the beat and um, basically it just stops the track sounding so repetitive as it goes on finally i've added in my tag in there too and i think that pretty much tops it off for this one so i think all that's left to do now is just have a quick listen Severe pride. Nice little breakdown, and then straight back in. Hey, this one is sounding too sick. I'm liking the sound of this one. Okay, guys, that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you're feeling the beat as well. I'm going to go ahead, finish off mixing and mastering this beat now. But if you haven't already, make sure you follow my Instagram, at SevereProd, to keep updated with all the upcoming videos and giveaways that I have coming out soon. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.